favorite you won't see is Jamie Dancher from UCLA. The 2000 Olympian is out with an injury. Well, I had surgery in June to fix another problem I've been having for two years now. And they actually fixed the problem from before, but from the actual surgery, I built up um, more scar tissue, and it's actually in the joint. So I really can't tumble and vault. And um, it's disappointing, but the way I've been able to deal with it is obviously um, Kristen Maloney's back and went through having an injury for, I think, over five years. And she's just been a role model in the gym and everything. So, And I feel like I've been fortunate. I've had three good years. So I'm doing what I can. It's not healing as fast as I would like, but I am doing what I can and staying positive and optimistic. They hope to get Jamie back on bars by the end of the season, but even without her, UCLA has incredible depth, and that's why Georgia head coach Suzanne Yochlin invited them all the way to Athens. We thought it was really important to get a strong team in here, uh, not just to prepare our team members for the competition that they'll face at the end of the season, but also for our fans. They're very educated, and they want to see Georgia against the best competition in the country. Well, Lori, I get a feeling these fans are not going to be disappointed. Some great teams. We're just getting ready to get started here. You see the vault lineup for Georgia. Marlene Stevens, as we mentioned, a late addition in the lineup, so that should definitely give Georgia a boost. Marlene is still in a great deal of pain from her turf toe, but she's going to give it a, her best try for the team. And starting off for the Gym Dogs tonight is freshman Kelsey Erickson. Kelsey is a tremendous athlete and so strong on this event. Yurchenko layout full. That's a 10-0 start value vault. She had tremendous distance. Just that step on the landing. Kelsey looked like she nailed it there. And, you know, Lori, what a great story about Kelsey. You see her score a 9.9. .9. Amazing to think this is a walk-on. Kelsey had offers for many of the top programs in the country, but she, it was always a dream to come to Georgia. They did not have a scholarship available, so she is walked on. We'll earn that scholarship next year. Great story. I say the gym dogs are happy to have her. Looking now at the bars for UCLA. That's Krista Maloney warming up, but here's a look at their lineup. See a couple of freshmen in there for the Bruins and kind of getting ready to start things off here. As we mentioned, with Krista Maloney back in competition, we haven't seen her in two years. What a tremendous asset to this team, not only with her talent, but with her experience. She's been out of the collegiate scene for a couple years now. Picking up where she left off, Toanj Poshnikova up to the high bar, giant full bail handstand. You can see the level of gymnastics has been elevated here. Beautiful positions, hitting every handstand, just the dismount, a full end back out. That's a double salto with a full twist and not a problem. Oh, you hear a lot of cheers there for Kristen Maloney. I guess it's not a surprise. Look at a 9-9 to start things off for UCLA. And, uh, you know, she is a 2000 Olympian, so I guess she might be wearing UCLA blue here, but she's worn the red, white, and blue before. Val told me that she has spent the last couple years conditioning, that she is the strongest she has ever been. And welcome back to Stegman Coliseum. Georgia fans of all ages here to see the Gym Dogs take on the UCLA Bruins. And here we see Kate Richardson, the 2003 national champion in this event, getting ready to go for the Bruins. Kate has incredible form on this event. Rarely do you see a leg separation, a flex toe, a bent knee. Just beautiful. That's a pike straddle back, a little bit different than we normally see in the straddle position. Hitting all her handstands, just the dismount here. Two giants. Very smooth swing into her double layout. Perfect stretched form in the air. A nice landing. Very pretty routine for Kate Richardson. Getting some cheers and hugs from her teammates there. And the score, 9.925. Lori, that ties the career high for Richardson. Kay told me she's a much more mature athlete. That competing the entire season last year as a freshman, weekend after weekend, really gave her a lot of competition experience. And that's certainly going to help this summer at the Olympics. And now getting ready to go for Georgia. Chelsea Byrne on the runway for the vault. Chelsea is the SEC champion on this event where she scored a perfect 10. Take a look at the height on this vault. One of the highest of this competition, Yurchenko layout full. She just floats through the air. Her only deduction is that landing. Wow, that, that was... Step. Oh, and look, so close. 9.950. As you said, she has a 10. She's already gotten in her career, and she comes pretty close on this one. She almost jogs into this vault. And look how she rockets it up off the horse. 
Just an amazing position in the air. She just needs to stick that landing for the 10. And you're taking a look there at the team total for Georgia on the vault. 49.4, that's a season high. It ties for the second best score in the country. So the Gym Dogs off to a great start. And finishing up now for UCLA in this first rotation, Jeanette Antolin, an all-arounder for the Bruins, senior out of Huntington Beach, California. Jeanette has looked so confident throughout this warm-up. We're going to see some great gymnastics from her. Oh, very aggressive into this combination. Eagle Giants into a Pike Jaeger way above the bar. That's how you knew it. Go back down to the low bar, bail to handstand, right in that vertical position. Giants to a double layout, small leg separation, but she nails the landing. Should be another big score for UCLA. They're keeping this competition close. Well, Jeanette, there you see it, a 9.975. That is a career high for this All-American on bars, and here's part of the reason why. Those are her Eagle Giants into her Pike Jaeger. That's an E-level skill, two tenths of bonus, and one of the most difficult skills you'll see in this competition. Well, UCLA putting up a 49.5 on bars. It is a season high for the Bruins this year. And, oh, it is a tight race right now. Those Georgia Gym Dogs are right on their tail. And if you look after one rotation, just a tenth of a point separating the two. We'll have more after this. Regional Breast Center, which is a whole complete center over at Athens Regional Hospital. It's so wonderful to see Talia moving on happy and healthy. She remained in Athens for her treatment and recovery because of the great support that she got from her teammates, her coaches, and the fans. And I'm sure Talia happy to be supporting her team now as they uh, get set to watch the UCLA Bruins on vault. Up first, Kristen Maloney. And talk about an inspiration here. Kristen has been a true inspiration to all of her teammates after three surgeries on her shin to put in rods and remove rods. She's now back in competition, and take a look at that vault, outstanding. Well, you'd never know she had any problems with her leg watching that vault, Lori. She scores a 9.9, .9, pretty good start for the Bruins on vault. After her final leg surgery, she had an infection which started to eat away at the bone, so they removed the rod in her leg and told her that she may never do gymnastics again. Now look at her, just amazing. That's definitely the type of story you like to hear. And moving on to Georgia, their bars lineup for this second rotation getting set to go. And up first is Corey Fritzinger, the senior out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. A great event for Corey. She scores the best when she swings smoothly and aggressive, especially throughout this first connection right here. There's the Healy. Into her eagle giant half. Bail to Hanson on the low bar. Nice job. She has another difficult combination into her dismount here. A half to eagle giant. Trying to gather speed for the double front half out. Nice job. A little bit of a squat on the landing and a leg separation in the air. But pretty strong routine for Corey and the gym dogs. And Corey Fritzinger picks up a 9.825 to start the Gym Dogs off on bars. So, as you mentioned, Lori, a good start here for the Gym Dogs. Take a look at that hand position. It's called Eagle Grip. It is so tough to hang on to the bar, let alone do a dismount of this difficulty out of it. Boy, I'd definitely take your word for it on that one. It sure looks difficult, but going to UCLA, back now, Kate Richardson up on vault. Kate will perform the same vault we just saw Kristen do. Yurchenko, layout full, check out that distance, and she nails the landing. Where are the deductions? <laughs> I don't know. I think the judges will have to look uh, pretty hard to try to find some there. And they don't find too many, Lori. A 9.950 for Kate Richardson. And what a scorching start the Bruins are off to in this second rotation. Once again, her form is impeccable. Legs glued together, to toes pointed in the air, and of course that landing. That's what you need to get the big scores on vault. Well, we've got lots more coming up from Athens. Rotation 2 continues after this. Right now. Chelsea is exceptional in that she's finally confident. She's always had that physical talent and that ability, and her first two years suffered with, you know, ankle problems and was never pain-free. And then last year, the first time that she was pain-free, she started really developing that mental strength that goes with that physical talent and had a sensational year. And this year, she's just going to be another level because she's very confident. Chelsea.
Fields has developed nicely within this group of very talented seniors. The pressure and spotlight has never just been on her, and that has allowed her to proceed and develop at her own pace. Stalder on the low bar into one of my favorite low to high bar elements at Shaposhnikova. Well done. Chelsea also told me that one of her main goals this year is to become an All-American on the balance beam and complete her set. She's an All-American on bars, floor, and vault. You can see why here, finishing up this routine very nicely. Double layout, small step on the landing. I'd like to see her a little bit more aggressive on that landing and really get after the stick. It is early in the season. Oh, we'll see if the judges agree with you. Lori, they do take some off there. Chelsea getting a 9.85. She started the meet with a 9.95 on vault, and let's take another look at her bars routine. A nice connection here, up rise to full. She almost gets stuck in handstand, but somehow muscles it out. And that's tough when you're going into a big release move like that to Katja. Up next, Jeanette Anselin for the UCLA Bruins, a national team member for five years, and she is quite an athlete. And already having a great year. Won an all-around title already, and a beautiful vault. Yurchenko layout full. We're seeing a lot of that style of vault. Now with the new vaulting table, it makes it safer for these athletes. They have a larger surface area. And Jeanette, what a big score, a 9.95 for the Bruins. Yeah, I'd say uh, they like this setup, Lori. They're getting some big scores, especially Jeanette here on this vault. Back to the vaulting table with the larger surface area. It allows the gymnast to be a little bit more aggressive. And Jeanette is certainly an aggressive athlete, and it showed there. Well, look at that score for UCLA, a 49.425. That is a huge improvement. Their previous season high was a 48. Point six. So those big scores all came together, and that gives UCLA the edge. Kelsey Erickson for Georgia will have to do something here on bars for the gym dogs. Certainly puts a lot of pressure on this athlete, this freshman athlete. Big test for her. Giant full to Kacho, sky high, beautiful. Where Kelsey excels here is her form. Similar to that of another Georgia great, Karen Litchie. And if Kelsey can follow in the footsteps of Karen, then Georgia has some great things happening. And the dismount, a double Arabian, and take a look, her legs were glued together to the very end. Impeccable form. That is going to score high. Well, this freshman, the pressure was on, but she answered with a 9.925. Beautiful routine there for Kelsey Erickson, and let's uh, take another look, Lori, at this bars routine for Kelsey. Most of the athletes in this competition are only doing one release move. Kelsey does two, including that Pike Jaeger there, which is an E-level skill. And Kelsey's 9.925 highlighting rotation, too, for the Gym Dogs. They finished with a 49.275. Kelsey had a nice finish there, but the Gym Dogs fall a little behind the UCLA Bruins early. The Bruins are up as we had to break.